We're at the Challenge Babindam with Ingrid Paulus, who is Advanced Car Technology for Audi AG. Ingrid, you're about to tell us about car to car, the technology used in it, and how it helps the customer. Yeah. Car to car communication means that cars can communicate to each other and to equipped infrastructure. And it helps to get a real time and very concrete and high quality information about the traffic situation where you want to go. Here you can see um, it's not only the direct communication from one car to the other, but also the multi-hop. Um, this system allows um, we, uh, a reach of about 300 meters in cities and on highways up to two kilometers if there are no obstacles in the way. But uh, you can even get more foresighted because the information hops from one car to the other. Oh, okay. And the opposite traffic can bring you the information. So. Um, you can really drive more foresighted, and here you can see how you can. And it get says calculate new route. Yeah. So you can avoid the any hazardous situation. Travel Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Yeah. This is about communication between traffic lights and cars. Um, <laughs> this is something that we are very. Uh, Oh, because advanced because we have in English that uh, traffic lights equipped, more than 50 tra traffic lights equipped to, which co communicate to the Audi car fleet. And so um, this helps. Here on the screen you can see the, the traffic light sends the information into the car and the car calculates a recommended speed where you can pass through the traffic light without having to stop. So it, it basically will sync up all the traffic lights by telling you what speed to travel. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And if, of course, even with such a system, there might be right, uh, red traffic lights, and then it shows you um, re the remaining red light time also. Maybe we can come to that later. Now it says drive at 30 miles per hour, and you will get through without having to stop. And this is... Uh, a very, we have found out that we really can improve traffic efficiency because it reduces, if you don't have to stop and start and accelerate again, it reduces fuel consumption, it reduces um, exhaust gas emissions, noise emissions, and traffic even gets more fluent because if you don't have to stop and accelerate from zero, but come, or come with a special uh, speed already, more cars get through one green light phase and so the traffic is more fluent and more efficient. And you were also saying that it will tell you like maybe there are like five, yeah. five seconds left yeah. or three seconds left yeah. for the red light, yeah. which means you don't have to brake really hard, maybe just slow down a little bit and, and yeah. let the green light come. Yeah. Or if you have to stop, you can decide, uh, can I change my CD or can I switch off the engine if it's long enough time and this information can or could also be uh, correlated with the automat automatic start-stop system. Then the, the car can decide if it's useful to switch off the engine or not. If it's only one second, it's, it's not worth switching off the engine.